Hey, this is a quick demo of um, a very simple pull request uh, being deployed via Circle CI through GitHub. So let's get started. Um, what we have here is um, a simple Visual Force page uh, in an org. And then in an in incognito window here, we've got an identical Visual Force page in, in a separate org. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a change uh, in that org. Um, this org is in my developer branch called Shaheen. Uh, this other one uh, in the non-incognito window is uh, in the master branch. So we're going to make a quick change to the code. And we're going to save that and it's going to save our org. It's going to take a moment. Um, the purpose of this demo is to show how uh, you can take changes from that one developer makes in their org and uh, get them through code review via pull request in GitHub and automatically pushed and built to the master via Circle CI. So while that's uploading, we'll look at the, our Circle CI interface and we'll we'll move over to our project, which shows um, all of our previous builds for all branches of the project. It looks like our org is still deploying. Uh, rather, our changes are still deploying. Okay, it looks like they're done now here in Maven's Mate. So if we go to our incognito org, and we reload, we should see our changes uh, in the org, in my developer org. There they are. We've got our green machine now uh, in our terminal window, let's uh, take a look. We're in here and we'll do a git status and we can see there's a change to the test page. Maybe we forgot what that is so we'll do a git diff tool and uh, yeah we can see that the changes are what we expect. That looks good. So we'll uh, go ahead and do a commit. And we will um, we're going to push that to the server. So what we'll see now is Git gathering up uh, those changes in our commit, pushing them up to GitHub. Um, when that happens, we'll switch back to Circle CI, and we should see our branch start to build and as we can see there the green machine uh, build has started. Let's take a look inside Circle CI and, and see what it's doing. All it's really doing is it's looking inside of the build.properties file for this particular branch and it's finding a, a username and a password in there and it's using that to do uh, an ant metadata deployment to that org and uh, the last one took about says 47 seconds and we're at 30 seconds and you can monitor this in real time right on the Circle CI website. Looks like it's finished. Okay, so now um, that it's pushed to our initial org that we did the developing in, uh, we're free to open up a, a pull request and get, try to get this into master. So let's do that now. Um, we'll go to our org and we'll notice, oh, it already picked up that there was a, um, a push to the Shaheen branch. So let's do a uh, pull request. Uh, GitHub will look at the two branches, see if it's able to merge it cleanly, which it is. Um, and we'll give us a preview here, either unified or in split view, of uh, exactly what changes happen. So we can see our changes. Our stuff was deleted from here and added here. Uh, this looks good. So now we can imagine another developer seeing this and saying this looks good and giving the old uh, thumbs up. Okay. Now it's been set. All of our tests have passed on Circle CI, so we'll merge the pull request. Now let's switch back to Circle CI, and we can expect to see uh, master, the master branch start to build, which we're seeing right now. Let's 
go in here. Again, took about takes about 40 seconds right now because we're not deploying a lot of metadata. If you were deploying um, a lot more objects, tabs, profiles, permission sets, etc., you could expect the build to take longer. Um, if you're running all your unit tests, which is an option we're not doing right now, um, of course it'll take even longer. Right now we've got it set up for this demo. It ran and pushed. So if we go back to um, our, our master org and we re reload this page, now we can see that it's in sync with our incognito org. And um, that's really how easy it is. I mean, CircleCI takes care of the metadata deployments for you. There's some caveats. A developer has to understand how to rebase. They have to understand um, how to manage their metadata subscriptions and metadata within Maven's Mate. But um, all that is stuff that a developer really needs to know anyway. And uh, I think that uh, this is a really great, simple, developer friendly um, continuous integration setup for um, Salesforce projects. Thanks.